Thank you so much for being patient. OK, let me reintroduce myself. I'm Mrs. Peter and I'm the numeracy coordinator at Harris Academy Morden. Today I'll be talking to you about what is numeracy? Why is numeracy important? Some strategies we use here at school and how you can support your child at home with their numeracy. So numeracy is the ability to reason and apply numbers to everyday situations. Most of the people confuse numeracy with maths. Numeracy is separate to the maths curriculum as a whole. Maths encompasses many different topics such as algebra and geometry, whereas numeracy is thinking and working with numbers. Numeracy is divided into four main areas where all of them together consist the essentials of numeracy. These are the core mathematical skills that we all need in order to be confident and competent with numbers. So this is exactly what being numerate means. Being numerate is having the confidence to use numbers and data to make good decisions in daily life. In our everyday life, we're using numbers very often. For example, when we cook and we want to measure our ingredients, when we go shopping and we want to estimate how much money we're going to spend, even when we're budgeting at home and we want to keep up with our payments or how much money we're going to save at the end of the month, and even understand the data we see in the media and how all these numbers will affect our everyday life. In order to have a deeper understanding of numeracy and the importance of numeracy, it's really crucial we understand the impact of poor numeracy on the individuals. Since numeracy is present in different subjects across the curriculum, students with low levels of numeracy find it very hard to achieve good grades in school. This has a negative impact in their behaviours as well and their future opportunities. Students with low levels of numeracy find it hard to get and maintain a full time employment. That is because students with low numeracy skills tend to leave school early and frequently without qualifications. The jobs they enter are generally low paid jobs with poor prospects. In addition to all that, low levels of numeracy are linked with poor health as well. So as we understand, good numeracy is our best protection against unemployment, low wages and poor health, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. In a recent survey that was conducted in 2019, people were asked to answer five multiple choice questions of everyday maths. It is surprising to see that more than half of the working age population that took part of that survey achieved an entry level three or lower. That is equivalent to the level of a primary school child. And instead of things getting better and improving in numeracy throughout the years, there is strong evidence that actually they're getting worse. Between 2003 and 2011, the percentage of people with skills roughly equivalent to GCSE or above fell from 26% to 22%. This has a great financial impact and the cost of that is estimated to be around 20.2 20 billion pounds and that is the annual cost. This translates to an average household the cost of 460 pounds annually per adult simply because of low numeracy skills. Taking all of that into consideration here at Harris Academy Modern, we have a variety of initiatives to support our students with their numeracy skills and equipment with all the necessary skills for a prosperous future. The first thing we do is our morning numeracy interventions for our key stage three students, that is the year seven, year eight and year nine. The students in these groups that have been identified to be working below the expected levels in maths are following the numeracy warm up online program that includes all the essentials of numeracy. The students take 
a baseline test, numeracy test at the start of the program, and they do the test again at the end of the program. The scores then are compared so we can check their progress. Another group of students for year seven and year from year seven and year eight, they're following the afternoon numeracy club that runs once a week. They follow the 12 week numeracy catch up program and it's it includes again all the essentials of numeracy. And again, the students are taking a baseline test at the start of the program and then retake the test at the end of the program so we can track the progress. To get an idea um, how the numeracy catch up and the numeracy warm up programs work, let's look at the learning journey of the students. They start with the four operations, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, and the students practice their mental and reason methods. When they feel confident enough, they carry on applying these methods in more complex number problems. Then they can move on during doing unit conversions, calculating with time and money, and then do some basic um, questions in geometry in two dimensional and three dimensional shapes. Finally, they can read and interpret data and charts. In order to maintain high levels of numeracy across the school, we uh, have once in a math lesson per week, doing the students doing the numeracy, uh, um, the numeracy worksheets. That is numeracy ninjas for the year seven, year eight and year nine students and the Coburn Math five a day um, numeracy worksheet. To get an idea how these worksheets look like, the left hand side of the screen you can see the numerous ninjas for a year seven, year eight and year nine students that the students have five minutes to answer uh, three different types of questions. They start with mental strategies, they move on with the times tables and then the last column is testing them on the key skills of numeracy. Whereas on the right hand side, you can see the numeracy five a day and it's called five a day because it tests the students in five different areas of numeracy. Every worksheet um, has different topics every time. This particular one asks the students from year 10 and year 11 to work with money, then maybe do some rounding, check uh, tables, reading scales and doing some geometry as well. Some other fun activities that we have here at school uh, so students can um, enjoy doing maths is the weekly numeracy challenge that is on the daily message board. Students have a question to answer through the week and then they bring the correct answers and at the end of the term they get the chance to win prizes. Then we have the numeracy and maths competitions that we run here at school. Recently we had the intermediate math challenge and we are very proud to say that uh, we had three golds, 12 silver and eight bronze certificates from our year uh, 10 and 11 students. After Easter, we are going to have the junior math challenge for our year seven and year eight students and we hope that we're going to have um, certificates from them as well. Today it happens to be the World Maths Day. And in order to celebrate that special day here at school, students today and tomorrow are taking part, are taking part in a worldwide competition that runs online. So they compete with students around the world using the numeracy skills um, and their speed as well. And lastly, I want to talk to you about MathWatch, uh, our main platform we use here at school, how you can track the progress of your child at home and how you can support them with their independent learning. So MathWatch is a great platform because it covers all the topics of the national curriculum. The students can watch videos there and then they have a bank of more than a thousand of exam style questions that are interactive. That means they can instantly get marked so the student gets feedback from the questions. It also keeps records of students' progress so students can check what skills they have acquired <clears throat> and what skills they need to practice a bit more. It also promotes their independent learning. All the students around school have been provided with the login details from the math teachers. So when they go on MathWatch, <coughs> they can, <coughs> excuse me, they can enter the username and the password and they can go and they can log in. Then they can 
check the list of tasks that have been assigned from the teacher and also the type of tasks that um, they have there. For example, it may be homework or it may be a test. Then they can check the due date of each of the tasks and also the total score if they have completed the task. One nice feature that uh, MassWatch has as well is that teachers can give feedback to the students to specific questions or even to the whole task. But most importantly, students can initiate feedback or ask questions to the teachers. It's really important that you encourage your child if they have difficulties in math that they get in contact with their teacher, either through MathWatch by typing the question there so the teacher can see, or even face to face in school. It's really important that they don't um, they ask questions if they find something challenging. So when they click on the task, this is what they pops up in the screen. Um, all the tasks come with videos, so students can watch the videos and keep notes. There may be uh, comments from the teacher to help the student uh, do the task, and they can attempt the task as many times as they want until the due date. Working independently now, MassWatch, students can uh, click on the videos tab at the top of the screen and then they can choose the level they want to work on. For example, for key stage three students, year seven, year eight and year nine, they're going to choose the key stage three level of questions, but the year 10 and 11 students are going to choose the GCSE topics. Then at the search box there, they can type in any keywords, like for example, I've typed in uh, place value. And at the bottom, they can see all the um, results from their search. If they click on one of them, they can watch the clip and they have an option to watch a one minute uh, clip instead of watching the whole version. Then they can do the interactive questions that are getting instantly marked. And if they want to stretch themselves and do more questions, they can click on the worksheet and attempt the uh, exam style questions of that task. Also, as I told you before, uh, MassWatch keeps tracks of the student's progress as well. If they click on the progress tab at the top of their screen, then they can use the filtering options and uh, identify all the areas of strength and maybe some areas that need uh, to develop a bit more. MassWatch keeps track of the topics they have watched, the questions they have answered, and the acquired skills they have from the task or even master skills as well. And that was it for MassWords. One other platform I want to show you briefly is the numeracy warm up that we are using for our morning interventions. I would suggest that for the year seven, year eight and year nine students who are really struggling with their numeracy skills. We have a single login if you want to keep a note of that uh, and you can use that to uh, log into that platform. So this one as well covers all the essentials of numeracy. You can click on either of these um, areas so you can see the list of topics. Again, this uh, platform gives instant feedback, marking the questions as the students go. Lastly, some uh, extra tips that I want to give you is um, as much as possible, provide your child with a quiet workspace and encourage it not to give up if they make mistakes. It's really important to understand that persistence is the key to success and making mistakes is part of the learning journey. Also help your child to do some extra work or get ahead and MathWatch, as I told you before, is a great tool for that. And please be positive about maths. Try to avoid expressions like I wasn't good at maths or maths wasn't my strong subject. Just try to show your child that they have to have a growth mindset and that the skill of doing math is not something that someone is born with, but a skill that they need to practice so they can be successful on that. Lastly, highlight numeracy in everyday life. Do activities with your child and value math whenever you find them. You can cook together and ask them to measure the ingredients for you. You can go shopping and ask them to estimate how much money you're going to pay. And lastly, some useful websites you can visit is a national numeracy website where you can find many tips of uh, how you can improve numeracy, 
the carbon mass that has videos there as long uh, together with uh, worksheets, BBC Bite Size Numeracy, the Oak National Academy that has whole lessons there um, and videos as, um, and um, worksheets as well. And a free application you can download for iPhone or Android that is called Star Dash Studios and your child can um, do some numeracy alongside uh, with playing a game. Thank you very much for listening. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, my name is Mr. Dahada and following on from Mrs. Pitter, um, I'll be talking about literacy here at Harris Academy Morden. <clears throat> so first and foremost, um, we let's define literacy. So the, natural, the National Literacy Trust describes literacy as the ability to read, write and speak and listen in a way that lets us communicate effectively and make sense of the world. So if we think about how we communicate our emotions, how we communicate we understand something or even just talking to, the, to our neighbour, all of that encompasses literacy. So these skills are essential to understand the world around us and therefore the better we are at these skills, the more successful we can expect to be in everyday life. We recognise here as a school that improving literacy can have a big impact on our students' self-esteem, their motivation, their behaviour and their attainment. So here at, um, here at Harris Academy Morden, we've taken a very research-based approach when it comes to how we tackle literacy within the school. We use the Education Endowment Foundation to help guide our own literacy policies and ensure that we're implementing the most impactful strategies for our students. So in order to test how um, strong our literacy is in our students, we often um, we do the NGRT reading test. We do this twice a year. We do this at the end of each year and also um, during the spring term. So this, along with evidence from teachers um, about progress in lessons, allows staff to identify students who need that additional support. Students who are identified as such will be targeted for one of our many intervention programmes here offered at HAMS that best suits their needs. So if we have a look at one of the intervention programmes, if a student has a reading age one year lower than their actual age, they're added to our Lexia provision. So with this provision, they're taken out of tutor at least twice a week and asked to come back for 30 minutes after school to complete a Lexia programme. This is an independent programme that they work on on the computer and this can also be accessed from home as well. With this programme, they're able to look at semantics, syntax, morphology, idioms, syllables and phonology, essentially helping solidify their literacy building blocks. In the case of a student having a reading age of two years lower than their actual reading age, then students will receive an additional three sessions of lecture a week where students are removed from a variety of different subjects on a rotational basis. That way, not only is their literacy being empowered, but it also allows them not to miss out on their wider curriculum. Another provision we have, especially for our year seven students who have a who have a reading age of three years or more lower than their actual age, they are enrolled in our fresh start intervention. So as you can see on the right hand side here, this is intervention is a phonics based program which aims to build phonological knowledge from the ground up. This is done by ensuring students understand the correct sounds and how to blend them, as well as identifying various phonolo phonological sounds in unknown words. So if you have a look on the right hand side there, those sounds at the top would be considered their basic sounds. So with F you would have the sound F, with M you would have the sound M. By building their confidence in these sounds, they'll be able to read unknown words more confidently. Not only that, when it comes to spelling, they'd also be able to spell more confidently which means they themselves feel more confident in their own reading and writing. Not only that, we all, this is also supplemented with a grammar and punctuation taught program to aid in their level of writing as well. So last year in the academy, our literacy with our literacy intervention programs, we have had a drastic improvement with a lot of our students getting or um, averaging 2.76 years higher in their reading ages at the end of the intervention. So this has allowed many of our students to feel more comfortable and confident in their reading, writing and speaking in class. Many students being able to pick up more books they wouldn't have picked up before or being able to communicate just how they feel or talk to their peers in a better way. 
In terms of whole school literacy then, coming away from interventions, we have our bedrock, our bedrock vocabulary program. So this is an online literacy and vocabulary program um, designed by English teachers to explicitly teach students of all abilities in the academy. More importantly, it helps teach them academic words that they need to succeed in both school and beyond. Moreover, with a range of fiction and non-fictional texts, what this program allows is it allows students to catch up on their general knowledge and also to give them valuable cultural capital they'll need to understand the world around them. Now, this uh, Bedrock program is part of our homework. And in fact, Bedrock is done as part of our English homework for years seven to 10. And every student is expected to complete at least two lessons every week. Now, all students already have their logins. And if there are any problems or issues, they are also told to tell their teachers in which they will help them as best they can. Now, also here at Harris Academy Modern, we have a big focus on reading and we're really trying to develop a reading culture within our school in which we focus for both reading for pleasure and also reading for progress. For reading for pleasure, we do this during tutor time where students are encouraged to read a book of their choice, whether it be from home or from our library. Also, we have a big focus on reading for progress. So in students, for students who are in year seven to year nine, they have one dedicated lesson of reading a week. At the start of the school year, they're given a reading age as well as um, a specific reading level. And with our leveled system, every three books they read, they move up a level, creating a sense of achievement in their reading. The challenge is every student should be able to read at least three books every half term. Now, why read? What's the importance of reading? The Young Readers Foundation has listed a number of reasons for why reading is so important. Picking out a couple from here, reading improves vocabulary, builds confidence, improves analytical skills, broadens horizons, improves mental health and reduces stress. All of these things are invaluable in our everyday lives, and it's only through reading and through literacy that students will be able to feel more empowered with themselves. In terms of our whole school literacy, our library is, cent is central and essential to what we do here. It is a functional and highly resourced space for students to access before school, during break, lunchtime and also after school. In the library, students can access a catalogue of new and exciting books from different genres. And more importantly, we get books um, every month from our um, suppliers. Our books are exciting, with each one of them pulling their readers into adventure like no other. There is a wide choice of genres for our students to get lost in with a diverse list of authors to also choose from. So here at Harris Academy Warden, we can say confidently that there is a book for everyone. Now, it's important for students to also see their um, adults, teachers reading around them. So what we have is we, try, we tend to promote our teachers reading with certain teachers, as you can see on the right hand side there, posting what their favourite books are of all time or sharing with our students what we are currently reading. This allows our staff and our students to begin to talk about books more often, and it also creates a more sociable experience for reading. Telling your year tens, oh, I really like this book, I think you would enjoy it, makes them want to read even more. And also part of our whole school literacy, we have a couple of clubs lined up. We have Debate Mate, which is a popular club among our Key Stage 3 students where they're taught public speaking skills, how to think critically, how to argue. Um, some topics included is, is technology making children's lives better? And is London a safe, great, safe and great place to live? Furthermore, there are exciting chances for competitions against other schools in and around the area. Our most recent competition has seen our school come second, which is great. We also have Books and Biscuits, which is becoming more popular with our students, in which Mr Mosca creates a sociable experience for our students where they can sit down with their favourite book and talk about it. Now, what can be done at home to help? In order to improve your child's literacy, the best way to do it is through reading. Help them become avid readers. Talk about books that you have enjoyed, for instance, or perhaps take an interest in what they're reading. Reading is the most enjoyable when it's sociable. Ensure the students are actively completing their bedrock homework twice a week. If there are any troubles with them, then it is important that you um, tell them to tell their teacher if there are any if there are any problems logging in. 
and I hope you have enjoyed um, our numeracy and literacy talk. If there are any questions, please feel free to send us an email. Thank you.